Uh, Jason Sommer, you mentioned um, reporting. Actually, my colleague David Floyer is in the audience, and uh, he's done a lot of analysis on um, various systems and subsystems, working with like PG&E. We have this uh, service where we provide um, energy consulting, we're working with PG&E, and we have to look at the reporting of the vendors to actually see what the utilization is and other factors so we can calculate how much energy is actually being saved when you move to these types of systems. So right. he, he's assessed that a, a lot. I mean, David, who, who's, who's, we're a couple of the vendors who, got the, who have the best reporting. Just shout it out, I'll repeat it. They have the best reporting, yeah. Yes. Uh, Compellent, was, was, would, you, would you put them at the top? Are they the best, <laughs> in your opinion? Really the best, the single best. Number one in your view. Now you haven't eva evaluated everybody, right? Is that almost all of them? All right. Yeah. So okay, so that's that's a that's an expert's opinion, independent opinion, and um, I mention that because he has often said to me he's shocked that more vendors don't do a better job with reporting because it helps their customers and it helps the customers to sort of justify the expenditures. Yeah. It's like Yeah, I agree. I mean, a, a lot of competing products tack on reporting like an afterthought and it, it very much feels that way and it's n less than useful. I mean, compellence reporting is excellent. At my fingertips, I have everything I need to analyze you know, how my storage is allocated. Yeah, and to kind of also continue the point of data progression, you know, we're in a situation where virtualization is still kind of coming out of its infancy and best practices are still evolving. There's consensus is building on how to best do this. One of the things that can happen very easily as, as you're architecting a virtualization environment is you can misallocate data. Well, with Compellent, you might, we might take a look at a particular database and say that might reside best on 15K RPM SAS drives, but uh, perhaps in, in, uh, in practice, uh, that much of that data is better suited for SSD or something else. Well, we don't have to be exactly accurate the first time we provision it. We can let data progression analyze it automatically, move it around, and optimize it. And so reporting goes hand in hand with that, where we can right. see where our data is going and, and then make more better informed decisions. And, and as we get used to the system, and everybody's data is different. I mean, as Jack was pointing out, he has really you know particular requirements. Um, every industry is different. Every business is different. Uh, Compellent is so flexible that uh, you can make mistakes in provisioning, get it, get it wrong the first time, but the stakes aren't so high, it's not a big deal. 